guys, I'm Caroline. This is my new YouTube channel, and I hope you guys like it. For my first video, I'm going to be doing a DIY clipboard, and my friend Lindy's going to help me with it. Okay, so the clipboards that I got are from Michael's, and all the paper that we're going to decorate them with are, were also from Michael's. They have just a bunch of different designs, blues, pinks, rainbow. And then for the ribbon, I also got at Michael's. There's just a rainbow sparkle and then a pink polka dot. Um, everything else is like tape, scissors, pencil, glue, and if you don't have the glue, you can get some at Target or Michael's. And then I got a Sharpie, so at the bottom we could write our name, but that's pretty much all that we're going to be using. Hey guys, this is Lindy, and we're going to be making our clipboard decoration right now. And I went over the supplies that we're going to be using, so we're going to go ahead and decide our paper. Okay, so however you're going to do your design, you need to pick either... About two pieces of paper, so let's go ahead and let Lindy, our guest star, <laughs> pick it out. Okay. Ooh. Like these two. Like the blue and pink shade. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so Lindy has chose hers, and now I will choose mine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick mine. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do the two pink and blue polka dots. Those look good. Three. Okay, after you have your clipboard, you want to have it, the paper on, and then like I've done, you want to trace it, draw the lines where, and the it can edges be are. outside a little bit because we'll end up folding it folding over it back so that it looks so, good. Yeah, so it doesn't look like it's just been glued on. Yeah. Try to be squared. Okay, so after you have that. You want to go ahead and cut where your lines were. Okay, so after you cut it, it might be on the outside, which is per which is perfectly fine. She cut hers at the corners, which is fine. There's two different ways. I have decided to fold mine over so it looks clean. But if you cut it like right on the edges here, it still looks clean too. But Lindy doesn't have hers glued on. She just has hers clipped. So, the way that Lindy would do it was go ahead and take her other paper and measure it and do that. Halfway. But, so, we're gonna, I'm going to show you Lindy. She's going to do her way, and then after that, we'll do mine. Okay, so the way that Lindy will do it is either go halfway or less than halfway on her clipboard. So, I'll hold up her clipboard, and you hold the, the paper that up. So, she's Extra either going to... Go halfway or a little less than halfway, whichever one, whichever one you'd like. And then less than halfway. Is what I'm so do. now let's see how Lindy is going to trace hers. Now Lindy's going to trace hers. Okay. So now that Lindy has cut it, she's going to choose where she wants her design. And she's chose a can't get away perfect, but like she's chosen to do it at the bottom. So now that she's done, I'm going to go ahead and show you my way. So I finished my clipboard. It's all glued down. And now Kelly's going to show her you her way of her clipboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since I have extra, you can see from the back, I have extra all around except for the top, which is going to be okay because we're going to fill that up. Um, so first what you're going to do is... Fold at least get a crease of where you want to fold it. So sorry about the brother. Okay, so get the crease where it would be. You want to do that on both sides so you know where you will get. And sometimes you want to make sure that it's flat. Okay, so after that. Then you're going to really fold it until it's tight and put a piece of tape <laughs> put a piece of tape to hold it down. You take care of it. And then you'll do the same to the other side and then to the end. Okay, so I didn't tell you this earlier, but if you fold it up, it kind of looks bulky on the end. And so, like, you would a present, you want to fold it 
on the fold side. Fold the edges of it. So like, you fold, you fold it. It yeah. would be folded like, like this. And you want to do that on both sides. And if it's still on the end, just doesn't look great, <laughs> Wendy. Then it's it's gonna look okay, but. <laughs> Something's wrong with her. Okay. So, and you want to try to pull it as tight as possible, seeing it looks better on the end. And then you'll just tape it down. Like I'm doing right now. And when you're done taping, you can leave your clipboard like this and add things that you want, or you could add like different pieces of paper like Lindy and I did, or are going to do. Okay, so after you're done, it'll look really good, like this, and on the back, it doesn't really matter what the back looks like, because just nobody's going to see it. Yeah, you just really want to look at the front. the front. And if you're super worried about people seeing the back, then just take the tape off and cut so it makes it look good, but I like when it's folded, so it looks good. And so I'm going to add the, I picked out the pink polka dot, and so now I need to make sure that whatever design I'm going to do, it's measured, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start measuring. Okay, so after you've measured and cut, you want to place it where it's we're going to be, or like up here. Is it going to be in the middle? It's going to be down at the bottom. It's going to be way up at the top. I have chose to do it down at the bottom. So now I'm going to do the same thing I did when I, when I put tape this on. Fold it on both sides and then do like a crusty resin on the bottom. Okay, so after I'm done with folding it in the back and folding, it actually didn't have enough room to fold under, so I just trimmed it off for the end. So our next step is to write our name at the top with a Sharpie. And right now, I can't find the Sharpie. Oh, I found it. Okay. So, we can, I want to do it in like bubble letters, you know, or block letters, some people will call them. Um, and so, Lindy and I are going to go ahead and start writing our name. So now that we've written our names at the bottom, they're backwards, but it says Caroline. And it says Lindy Gray. Lindy Gray, because that's... My middle name's Gray. Yeah. And so, also what we're going to do is we got some ribbon, and so we hold this up for separate. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it... Here's our little poke dot. ...across yeah. like this. I'm going to do... And then Lindy is going to do... She also wrote her name up at the top. She is going to go across here with the rainbow chevron, so we both have the same design. Okay, so now that we have the ribbon done, um, our next step is to put a bow up at the top, and Lindy has already done that, except for she taped hers down, and you do not have to do that. And or, if you know what, another way to how to put the bow on, you can. We finally finished our clipboard. I she added this up here. Up so it will cover the tape where she put it. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you like my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and please leave um, some videos you want me to do down in the comments. Thanks. Bye.